Hey friends, I'm in Livingston, Texas. Yes, so yesterday, yeah, early yesterday morning, I pulled out of uh, Prairieville, Missouri because I knew that I was going to uh, have to get south or I was going to be cap or um, held captive by these ice storms for a few days. So I decided to make a run for it and knew that Mariana, Arkansas wasn't going to be far south enough to keep the keep me away from the ice. So I decided to make a break for Natchez, Mississippi. Got there yesterday evening. I wanted to stay at the state park and get set up there because I had had previously had reservations there to stay for a couple nights. Uh, but obviously I missed those with the truck situation. And so um, I got there, there was no room. I had to stay at another hotel. But uh, this morning um, and last night I was checking around really, really hard to find hookups anywhere, really anywhere down south uh, for good reason. So uh, I found one in Texas, in Livingston, Texas. It's just north of Houston and uh, really a beautiful place. Uh, Lake Livingston is right through the trees there and I'll try and get better pictures of it later on. But got here today at two o'clock and it gives me a lot of time to set up and start getting oriented to the trailer. This will be the first night <laughs> that I have slept in the camper. So I'm pretty excited about that. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of organizing to do and everything. Um, the ride was fine. I wanted to give a big shout out to the boys at Benning Service in, in Perryville. Not only did they do a great job with my vehicle, but Keith and Roger and uh, uh, oh, I'm blanking on the name. Keith and Roger really were the guys that helped me out. So I just want to say thank you to you two. Uh, you went above and beyond and uh, found a lot of interesting things out about the truck that I didn't know. I spent quite a bit of money before I purchased the truck, having it checked out by a couple of different mechanics at Bayview Auto and then over at SIDS. And they did a terrible job because there went a lot of undiagnosed issues with the truck that I was unaware of. But I did do the due diligence of taking it to professional mechanics and having it checked out. And they did some work on it and didn't indicate there were any additional problems. But it turns out there are some real considerable, considerable issues with the exhaust and some modifications that the previous owner made to the vehicle that really had to be corrected. So did all that work. I still have a little bit more work to go, but the vehicle is running fine. Got me here without an issue. Thank you, uh, little Miss Kitty. I always knew you had it in you. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's really exciting. I'm here for my first night. I talked to Tim Holty this morning. He told me there was a pool going on about how, how long I was going to stay out on the road. And I guess there's somebody who will not be named who thinks I'll only be out here for two months. So... Uh, I think it's three weeks now. I think I've been out here approximately three weeks. So i um, just getting started. Just getting started. So I'm really excited to get the trailer in order. I brought so much shit. I don't know what I'm going to be doing with half this stuff, but we'll get it figured out. So anyways, that's where I'm at. I'm going to sign off for the next couple of days because I've got things to catch up on. I'm working on videos and I'm uh, writing at the same time, and I'm also going to try to get this squared away, so I won't be putting anything out until after the weekend. But listen, have a great weekend. Love you guys. Um, be kind to one another. Treat others like you want to be treated. That's the goal for me this year. Uh, sometimes easier said than done, but thanks, everybody. Uh, take good care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.